due anni fa ho provato un gommone che mi aveva entusiasmato. Two years ago I tried a rib that impressed me with its performance. I went back to test it because they changed the deck, which is now wider and more comfortable. I'm talking about the new ROC 36 from the Greek shipyard ROC Marine. It is a small manufacturer that currently has only two models in its range, the ROC 30 and the ROC 36, but by the end of 2023, the new ROC 40 will also be presented. Having a limited production allows them to devote more attention to their customers while also satisfying requests for customization. Let's take a good look at it and carefully observe not just its aesthetics, but also its technical qualities. The bow sun deck is very long and very wide on this new version of the ROC 36. The side cup holders are also handy. An electro-hydraulic system raises the entire foredeck and leads to a living room, which can actually be transformed into a cabin for two people. This area has greatly benefited from the increased width of the rib. This is not one of those seats you usually find on a rib. This is an armchair that makes you feel very safe. Under the console is the toilet with sink. The central quarter deck has a nice slender profile and an aggressive and technical character that underlines the difference with other products. The helm station has those features that a pilot truly appreciates. Enveloping and cushioned seats, a rudder and throttles close to the body, as well as instruments that you can reach without changing your position. The T-top is fiberglass and thanks to an awning, the entire stern area can be shaded. At the stern there is a living area that seats up to six people. And here too, one can really appreciate the 30 centimeters of extra beam. In the center, you can mount a teak table thanks to a carbon leg. This galley cabinet is an example of how to appreciate the aesthetic and technical qualities of this rib. Impeccable finishes and practical solutions. A beautiful combination of teak and carbon and design fittings that are also practical. Here is the new Rock Marine logo, but what I like best is the stern swimming platform, which is as wide as the hull. The engine wiring doesn't get in the way too much because the navigation bridge is also deep. And then there's the stern anchor, which is perfect if you decide to stay overnight at anchor. I know, I've already tested it out, but some alterations have been made, so it deserves another test, because when you change something on the deck, the weights and trim change, and therefore it's necessary to test it out. Maybe you just don't care about the performance of a rib. You just like to observe it. You like to look at how beautiful and well-finished it is. And if this is the case, then you won't be disappointed with Rock Marine. But I, on the other hand, want to know how it behaves, because sooner or later, you might find yourself in difficult conditions. So we need to know what type of rib we have, and today the conditions are difficult, 30 knots of wind. Luckily, we are in an area where there's not much fetch, so the waves are not formed, but they are steep, and it's a situation that often puts ribs of this length in difficult conditions. Today we have two brand new engines available, V10 Mercury Verado with 350 horsepower each. But the shipyard is so sure of this hull that it says it can fit two 450 horsepower units. Isn't the coast of Attica beautiful? While I was busy chatting, I also took note of the minimum planing speed, 11 knots. Now, however, we're at 20 knots, with consumption slightly below 3 litres per mile. The 
Since I'm navigating against the wind, I keep the trim low. Thirty knots. You don't feel the waves. There is a slight sideways heel due to the action of the wind, which is very strong. But there is also Gigi on the starboard side. Let's give it a little more gas. We will also try veering. When I feel safe, even when veering, I don't keep my hand on the throttle. It's instinctive, however, it's better to have the hand on the throttle anyway, because right now the sea is rough and we're at 40 knots. Cruising speed, 4,800 RPM, we're at 47 knots. Do you realise what 47 cruising knots means? Basically, in an instant, you reach the destination you want. It's amazing. Consumption at this moment is 130 litres per hour. But now it's time to discover the maximum speed, full throttle. Be careful, because we have a lot of waves and a lot of wind, so you can easily take off. Incredible performance and safety. It's a wonderful rib. The deck has changed, but not the performance and safety that this rig provides. I don't do big steering wheel checks, and I'm running at 60 knots. 60 knots on low trim waves. Now I've got the waves confused, and they're coming in across, straight, left, who knows? What I do know is that I don't have to do anything. It's crazy. It's amazing. I want one. I have to say, the new generation of Rock 36 is more comfortable and wider. But even on these waves and on this sea, you have seen how it navigates. Well done. A job well done.